Welcome back to day number 10 of the Happy Mail Vlogmas 2022. I am so glad that you've been along with me on this journey. Um, we have already gone through days nine, or I'm sorry, days one through nine already. And all we have left is uh, 10, 11, and 12. And this, um, just if you have first time seeing this video, uh, this uh, Happy Mail Vlogmas series was something that was uh, specially uh, curated by my bestest sister-in-law, Stephanie. Uh, she wanted to do something special for me for my channel since I was new and to give me content and give me something fun to do through the holiday season. So I'm um, so thankful for her that she did this along with me. And uh, so I just want to go ahead and open up this little part of it uh, for you. And just if you're not really quite sure what Vlogmas is, it's a series of vlogs that a lot of the content creators do throughout the holiday season. It can be unboxing of advent boxes. It could be showing of fabric from different uh, collections. There's all kinds of things that you can do for the Vlogmas series. So if you're looking on YouTube, you'll find lots of content creators out there doing their own thing. And it's really just having fun and sharing with the viewers um, that watch the videos of, of just the holiday season. A lot of times they'll add some personal things in there like video and that's what I did for you today and I'll put a little uh, quick video at the beginning of it so that you know what we're doing so I thought I would change that up a little bit today as well and just to have a little bit of fun with it so let's go ahead and get this open and see what Stephanie put in for day number 10. <laughs> She got me a jelly roll <laughs> and it's in purple. <laughs> got all kind of other colors in it too. It's got some blues and some greens. It's from Hoffman. It's Hello Hydrangea Bolly Pop. And that is the name of it. So that one is beautiful. So if you're not familiar with a jelly roll, if this is your first time seeing one of these, there's usually 40 strips in there. And so a lot of the cuts that uh, companies will make the jelly roll that makes you think of food. A layer cake makes you think of food. Um, so different ones, they're all kind of food themed. So it's kind of a, a, a good thing and a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. So this was just the jelly roll for today. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's in here. I don't mind opening it up so I can show you. And this one's actually, I might can close it back when I'm done. I might be able to put it back in the plastic. Maybe. You know, kind of sometimes when you take things out of a box, it doesn't go back in the right way. So how are you enjoying your holiday season so far? What are you doing? Let me know. Are you getting a lot of projects done? Or, or are you just kind of overwhelmed? Uh, just, or maybe all of the above. <laughs> Out like this. Oh, success! Yay! <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can show you just a little bit closer. So it really is a beautiful collection of jelly rolls. So have you ever made a jelly roll race quilt? That's a lot of fun. You just take one of these jelly rolls. Um, Depending on how big you want it, you may want two. And then you just take the strips and you sew them all together, which kind of makes it a little bit like this one here. <laughs> so these are the jelly roll strips. You just take them and uh, sew them together. And you can kind of cut them up and there's all kind of videos out there. Uh, I haven't done a video on how to do that, but just look up jelly roll race quilt. So anyway, without further ado, I hope you're having a great weekend. Today's Saturday. Uh, take care. I will see you tomorrow for day number um, 11. <laughs> do you start your day with coffee? I do. <laughs> My husband does. We both do. We love our coffee. Um, if you want to know more about the coffee that's in the, um, in the video there, let me know and I'll get you some information about it. But it's our favorite coffee ever. Uh, we've had it um, in our home for about a couple years now. Or do you like hot tea? 
or do you just start your day off with water, lemon in your water? Let me know how you start your day with a beverage. Which one is it? Okay, so this next picture that I am going to show you is a family member of ours uh, shared with us a long time ago, it's been a couple years ago now, that you take uh, any of the bell peppers, you take a uh, yellow pepper, bell pepper, a uh, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and orange, if you can find them in your area, and you take them and you cut them up pretty small, and then you can take a sweet onion, a sweet onion, the Vidalia onion, depending on where you're at, it's not the yellow onion that's like the really, really strong one, it's the the sweet onion and you chop those up and I'll show you a picture of what those look like um, and then you take them uh, go ahead and like put them on a uh, cookie um, uh, pan when you're done cutting them up with paper towel underneath it because you do want to try to get as much of the moisture out of the peppers that you can because like any vegetable they're gonna have water in it uh, because of you know the content of the, the vegetable itself so you want to try to get as much water out as you can and then you take them and put them in a big Ziploc bag and you put them in the freezer. And uh, before you put them in the freezer, as you put them in the bag, go ahead and mix it all up. So you've got a medley of sweet onion, green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, orange pepper, and red pepper. And you can uh, put it in your uh, stews, you can put it in any of your dishes that you want to add a little bit of flavor to it. And so we just use it throughout the whole year. Um, you'll see the taco salad that I made. Um, I, we put it in the taco meat and it just makes it really taste good. Um, so it saves you a lot of time. So that's just one of the quick little trip for the, or tip for the holidays that I wanted to share with you. This next part is a holiday find that I found over at our local Hobby Lobby in our area. Um, it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And the other one says there's no snow place like home, which I thought was super cute. But I'm down here in the south. There pretty much is no snow where I'm at unless it gets really, really cold. Uh, but just found some cute little things over at the local Hobby Lobby to, to decorate the home with this holiday season. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different than my other Happy Mail Vlogmas videos. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day today. And I think what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go lay on the couch or sit in the chair for a little bit and cuddle up with this wonderful little Grinch quilt that I made. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Take care. Happy holidays. Bye.